Yo, what's up, everyone? Finally getting a backpack and tripping. Watch out for the song coming soon called Down the River. And this is really what this is all about, man. So I'm hiking Palmer Lake Reservoir. This is the lower reservoir. This is what it's all about, man. Trail time by the river. Hitting a couple reservoirs. Can't fish this one because it's the lower one, unfortunately. But I'll be hiking a little bit further in to the upper reservoir. Spending the night there. Enjoying the beautiful lake water. Camp up in the night. But my new song that I just finished producing and recording yesterday on July 4th will be coming out soon called down by the river and it's inspired by moments like these Chase my dreams down the river, watch them float Fuck my problems, chase my dreams I'm a sinner when I don't Fuck my problems, chase my dreams Down the river, watch me float Fuck my problems, chase my dreams I'm a winner when I go Let my problems down the stream Down the river, let them go Let my problems wash away the current cleans my soul Let my problems down the stream Let it wash away the old Watch my problems wash away Just beneath the water's flow Beautiful, beautiful scenery out here Absolutely gonna love it Gonna write a couple songs Get some fishing in Hike some trails around here and just fucking enjoy the next couple days. Long while since I put my pack on, I started hiking up the miles. Just something about the pines and the flowers growing wild at the river, throwing lines when my nature is my style. So I'm heading down the river and I'm throwing out my line, trying to catch some dinner while I'm clearing out my mind. So you see me down the river, just know I'm feeling fine. But please just let me be, cause this is really me time. Be so I'm coming around this trail. At the lake. And I'm just wondering. Maybe. It's probably a little too close to water. I was thinking about setting up camp. Back in that little gully if it goes far enough. We're going to walk up the trail a little further. See how far back. This little area goes. And if it goes far enough, about 200, 300 feet, with a nice little camping area, I might just camp right here. Well, it's just super thick bush all the way back in here. And the trail just loops around. But there is a split off over that way where I could probably find a nice camping spot close to the lake. So we're gonna head that way. Nice little ATV trail. Hopefully there's something back in here not too far. I don't want to be too far from the lake. If not, I'm probably going to hike around the other side of it. Nice wild sunflowers. But yeah, getting a little further away from the lake than I would like to be. So, I'm gonna turn around because that's all too bushy and stuff to set up a tent in. And yeah, back down we go. A 
love it out here so we're back to the trail and we're gonna go that way and continue around the lake see if we can't find a good camping spot and we're back by the lake just absolutely beautiful I really feel like it probably goes back in there far enough but I just don't want any problems with any forest rangers See the little guy? Look at you, cutie. Forest Service doing their duty out here. Man, all I can think is how many wood log cabins I could build with all that. Someday, I hope to be on some land like this and build my house out of something like that. But you know, gotta keep pushing forward to get those goals. Just look how beautiful that is. Absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna keep hiking back in a little further down there. And keep on rolling. Found it guys. Nice little dispersed camping spot. The lake's about 300 yards that way. Absolutely beautiful. And there's even a fire pit here. It says there's a fire ban, but if I catch some fish, I might just try to fry one up. I will say, though, this kind of stuff's unacceptable. I mean, we got bait left behind, trash in the fire pit, all that stuff. So I'm going to have to carry all this out. But you know what I mean? If you're gonna come out here and our, enjoy our forest, make it better than it was before you got here. Not worse. Clean up your fucking trash, please. Other than that, I mean, just absolutely beautiful out here. Love it. Gonna set up camp. And then go do some fishing. There's a stream by here too, a little river that feeds the reservoirs. So, you know, I'm going to be down by the river. Well, guys, where do you think I should go? Over here? I'm thinking right there. Or over here. The only problem with right over here is it appears there's a little deer trail right there. Which I might have to go check out later. But, so that makes me think. Right here. Which I think is going to be the spot. Let's do it.
All right, so I got it all staked down now. Looking beautiful. Everything inside, some water. Took all my food and stuff out of the pack. Got my drone. Use my clothes as my pillow. But I do have my little air mat under there as well. You know what I mean? People are always like, how do you go camping with just a backpack? Well, that's how. That's everything I need right there, pretty much. While we're here, I got my fishing pole with my little first aid kit that's got my fishing gear in there as well. And to follow Forest Service rules, my food is in a bear can over there at the right behind the tree in the center of the frame. You know what I mean? And then I will most likely be either eating my meals right there at that rock or down the trail at the lake. But yeah. This is what it's all about, baby. In the woods. Over here fishing by the dam. Look how clear that water is. It's just beautiful. Got my line out there. Yeah. Enjoying life. So I spent a few hours at the lake. Didn't catch anything. Went back, ate lunch, took a little bit of a nap. Now I'm going to go hike this mountain that I found. And yeah, maybe get some drone footage and just chill and enjoy this scenery in the woods. I'm still right by the lake too. So you know, that's cool. But yeah, let's go. We're back at the lake again. Know what I mean? But yeah, so try to get up to the top of that rock right behind me. That's the plan. Let's go. So we are gonna follow that trail up. Let's see if hopefully it bends back around that way. The rock is behind those trees now. Once it got to the top, it started bending back down around the mountain over that way. But I saw this down here, so I figured I would run down real quick. A little makeshift lean to someone had here at one point in time. I mean, it could be better, but you know what I mean? It's definitely got like a main support up there. And it could definitely be reinforced and rebuilt. Might have to make a little shack out here. But yeah, I'm gonna climb back up around that way. And then keep following the hill up that way. All the way up behind those trees is where that rock is. Now we're getting into the thick of it. Straight up we go. We are almost there, guys. Like right there. Well, that's the rock behind me. But you gotta climb up that tree to get up it. So, here we go. Hey, we made it up. You know what I mean? I actually think the rock that I wanted to get up right back there behind me well maybe that's just another one that's in view but i mean check out this scenery just beautiful and there's the reservoir
phone's gonna die, but after meditating and medicating for a couple hours, I'm headed back down. Boom, down the hill we go. It's a lot steeper than it looks in the camera, by the way. <laughs> there we go. And we are back. I never did find the trail from that way. I ended up coming down the hill from up there. It's all good. As long as I get back to where I need to go. I knew I saw the water, so I was headed the right way. And that, my friends, is where we just went to and came from. Cannot stress enough just how beautiful it is out here. I mean, amazing. We have a visitor. Something told me earlier that uh, that right there was a little deer trail. Sure enough. You know, I went hiding back in there. I was not successful at catching anything at the reservoir. So we're eating some Ready Wise creamy pasta and chicken. Good morning everyone, a little bit bright out here. I had a visitor last night at my camp. Oop, sorry. So I was in there and you see, got some water bottles down here on the ground. And yeah, that one's crushed. That one was not crushed last night. So there's that. I did hear him walk up the and was prepared. I'm walking over here. Way up the hill, I guess I'll just take you. Not way up, but up here. back behind in those bushes is where I have my bear canister when I woke up this morning it was not there off that way into those bushes is where I ended up finding it I did hear him throwing it around banging it on stuff trying to open it last night so I came looking for it this morning ended up finding it over there and then apparently at some point he probably wandered through all that brush. All the way by my tent. And walk right up to me. Crazy. Yeah. So there's some punctures in it. Definitely a bear claw that stepped on that. So he was that close to me. Like 10 feet. What's up everyone? Just wanted to end this video off by saying it was a beautiful hike to the reservoir. Had a great time. Unfortunately last night a bear did find my canister wrestling it around for a good hour or so. I uh, was not able to get into it obviously because it's a bear canister but uh, just want to have a little message about that you know there's a reason why we follow these backpacking guidelines when in bear country making sure to leave your food at 150 feet downwind from your or more from your tent and then your cooking station another 150 feet the opposite direction downwind from your tent creating a kind of like a triangle basically from your tent but long story short, 
After hearing it rustling around, I went down the trail a little further, found some more dispersed camping spots, and they were trashed. Completely unacceptable. Just can't believe it. That's the kind of shit that attracts bears, that makes them come down to campsites and puts people in danger. So I packed out as much of the trash as I could. Couldn't get it all, unfortunately. There was that much. I mean, it's really that bad. And, uh, yeah, almost 100% positive that's what attracted the bear to that area in the first place. Then it found my bear canister, which had food in it, and, of course, and some jerky, and it probably was going nuts over that because, I mean, it was trying to get into that canister for a good hour before it finally moseyed over towards my tent, which most bears will not approach campsites unless they have learned that they can find food at campsites, which only happens when people leave food and trash behind. So completely unacceptable. Clean up your trash. Don't leave anything behind. Leave it better than you found it. Live by no trace. And make it safer for everyone, because an inexperienced hiker that could have been out there last night could have died. That's just the fact of the matter. Luckily, I've been doing this long enough that I know what to do. But it really could put more people in, in danger. So, just remember that when you go out again.